So, <clears throat> what's going on is, um, and at least what's going on from a Christian worldview paradigm, is that there is a singular version of perfection, what ought to be from God's perspective. So it's a singular, highest of high, most perfect, supremely designed architecture. And what's happened is sin has opened the door for variances and variations that are all inferior to that singular perfection, ideal architecture. And as things try to stay in their imperfected state, um, they're expending their life's energy. Um, if things try to resist the conversion to inevitable perfection, it comes at a cost of energy and life. And perfection will be the ultimate steady state. Behavior can mimic this. Human behavior, for example, could be a, an uh, analogy for this. Stubbornness probably being the foremost uh, expression of resistance. But it does take and it does come at a cost, and it takes life and energy, and it comes at the cost of time to retain a stubborn position. And stubbornness can reinforce in the momentary, but time eventually wipes everything including peer groups and uh, support, supporting members and everything. Everything ultimately will succumb to the overarching wave of time in the alignment or decay of time, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> 